Let me finally get around to go to Shevrock Pass. The Shevrock Pass is currently open only to those who have the necessary authorization. Tips: Once you proceed beyond this point, second certain secondary contracts and events become unaccessible. What does that mean? Which ones are unaccessible? Are you sure you wish to proceed? What? That doesn't make sense. Does it even tell me which ones are are going to be lost forever? Okay, might as well just try taking looking over these quests one more time. Susie in Wonderland. This contract was issued by Closet Pardolin, head of the one of the most influential and wealthy noble families in Asia. One day, a mysterious merchant came to her mansion and sold her a scroll, one which she was not to open unless faced with severe depression. Unfortunately, the curiosity of her adopted daughter, Susie, got the best of her, and she opened the, that scroll while her mother was away, and its magic put her in a coma. Your job will be to release Susie from the scroll's grip and get her out of that coma. Interested? Good, get to the part of Lynn Mansion from here. You have to cross the bridge to mainland Aegea and then head east. Your guard should let you in if you tell them the mage's guild sent you. Good luck. I don't know... I don't know why the guide says it's available after crossing the Shadrach Pass. It might be unavailable after passing it and that they just miswrote it. I have no clue. I'm not sure what they... why it's... why they said that despite me just taking it right now. I guess I'll find out. Okay, let's see if I can actually complete this, despite not going to Shadrach Pass. This will prove if the guide gu mis was miswritten or not. Whoa. See you, sir. No point with the lady of the house? Kenred Krauser sent by a mage guild to wake a kid up a kid and save the day. Oh, we were expecting them to send help at any moment. You may pass. <sighs> really, I don't understand. Considering the level of this quest, maybe it, it is? I don't know. There's also a level 40 quest that's, uh, that has similar text in the guide. So I'm not sure at all. One of the part... They spelled it wrong. It's supposed to be there's no there's not supposed to be a second D. Who 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 spell checks this? Ah, one of the Pardolin Mansion, sir. Would you like to take a tour around the house? No thanks. Though I might have reconsidered your offer if you were a cute woman. Uh. For these people. <laughs> Harvard Pardolin was one of the found was the founding father of Pardolin House. He took opportunities whenever they presented themselves and made Pardolin one of the most influential names in Asia today. Lady Closet is doing a good job as the head of the Closet household after his passing, but sometimes I feel the pressure might be getting to her. Even though this mansion is far away from any of the major cities, it is a landmark in its own right. I'm worried about that level 40 quest. There's no way I could get there in time. Level 40 would be 45 in this difficulty, so yeah, that would suck. Top scroll in the bottom right corner puts Susie to sleep. I don't know what it is, but I wouldn't dare get too close to it. at here. Wish I could move a little faster. Locked. Yeah, so slow indoors for some reason. Locked. Piano room. He 
He looks too occupied to talk to us. Okay. Maybe this store. The room behind me is the lady's office. Even though she inherited all the fame and fortune she could ever want, she still chases her dreams of becoming a renowned writer. Don't go to the inner quarters. Alright. Gosh, she is strangely red for, uh, for some reason. Susie's condition is one of the strangest I've ever seen. She sometimes talks in her sleep, she briefs, smiles, and at times cries, even though she has no awareness of our world. Nothing I do seems to be of help. As the resident doctor of this house, I have never felt quite as powerless. Why is this one so strongly related to Shevrek Pass, though? It doesn't look like she's going to budge. We should try something else. Yes? We come from the Mage Guild, so you need us to wake your daughter up, huh? Well, yes, yeah, she has been in a state of coma ever since she opened the Bloody Scroll. We have tried everything. Medicines, pills, antidotes, nothing could wake her up. A resident doctor is taking care of her every day, but even he can't seem to find a cure. There's only one thing left to try, and that's to open the scroll again and decode its mystery. Where is the same person who, uh, who gave that one merchant guy the book? Huh, but what if the same thing happens to us? Who's gonna wake us up then? Well, your professionals compensated to take the risk. I thought you were aware of that. I kept a scroll in the library down the hall. I didn't want that thing anywhere near my daughter again. Do you have any questions before you start? Safer way to wake her up? Like I said, we tried everything we could, nothing worked. Why did you buy the scroll in the first place? I... It was a whim. You'd be surprised to see the things rich people buy on a whim, and at times we are left to regret our choices. Hmm, are you sure depression had nothing to do with it? The contract issuer said the scroll was supposed to be open only when... I prefer not to talk about it. This has nothing to do with your job. Ask something else. What happened to the scroll is destroyed? It's too risky. We may permanently lose the chance to wake Susie up. Yet you're willing to risk our lives by making us open it? Of course, putting your lives at risk comes with your line of work. It's part of the job. On the other hand, I shall never put Susie's in harm way. In harm's way. How big is this mansion anyway? If you can't the inner quarters, there are exactly 31 rooms in the mansion. Of course, guests in general have access to less than one-fourth of these rooms. That's all for now. I trust that you will restore my daughter to her normal self. Gah. I don't see anything requiring me to go to Chevrek Pass yet. I hope. Hmm. This place sounds like it's gonna be even, be similar to Smile Maker's World. I guess. Probably. Okay, time to go to the top scroll. All right, the top scroll. This seems to be it. Kenrod, once we open this scroll, we expose ourselves to all potential threats that may lay, lie within it. Are you ready for this? Let's do this. Open the gates of hell, Pinky. That doesn't help my anxiety levels at all. Alright, here it goes. Let's hope I can actually pull this off. Oh no. Whoa, this place is surreal. Never have I felt air such, uh, so, such blissful. I mean, so blissful. Is this heaven? This can't be real. Can it? We must be dreaming. Hmm, that would explain Susie's conditions. She must still be around here somewhere. Her real soul seems to be in the state of a, co a coma right now. The only way to wake up must be to break out of this dream. If this really is heaven, then let's look around for some yummy looking candy flavored angels. Okay, I can't leave, so I'm gonna save in slot four. The backup slot. Okay, talk to the cow. Welcome to the Moo Shop. We like like me to show you Moo stuff. Ask about this place. Moo, the one their land is a place where dreams come true. Taste our wonderful fruit. You will never want to leave. Spend a wonderful night. You will never want to leave. Moo says this is heaven. Once you find bliss, you will want to hold on to it for eternity. Well, that's disturbing. 
And I can only get this stuff by spending candy. I have to find a sparkling candy to get the one- uh, the key. That's not good. It's gonna be a timed section as well, so... Hmm. Can I cross the top of this flower thing? There's random encounters outside. Seriously? Why is this thing so fast? Okay, I better use some kind of TP move on you. Chain shot. It has really high evasion. Knockout punch. Smite! Heavy blow. Chain shot. Come on. High kick. Still alive? Damn, these things are... They re really weren't kidding about the recommended level here. And they say I have to do this before entering the pass, maybe? I don't know. The guide can be a little bit confusing to understand at times. Uh, makes me wonder if my own guide for- uh, if, uh, my boss guide for Nocturne Birth is really misleading people and causing them to fail and never progress in the game. Possibly. Okay, maybe I should switch Ivy into the party for now. The enemies here are just so fast because of their level. Go to the maze in the east. Okay, and they're supposed to... Yeah, I'm gonna... this is gonna be tough. Go to the south path. No, not here. What is that? Looks like poop. I'm gonna use quick jab just to be on the safe side. I don't have enough for a decent combo right now. Oh no, Pollen! Where is this Wonder Dust that they're talking about? I don't see it! Can we run from this? Holy crap. Entering it from the south? What kind of directions are these? Hey, what the- Maggie Po. Armor Pierce. You stunning combo. That stun did not work at all. Gah. Okay, this must be it. I burst safe because apparently I'm t I, I have to run away as soon as I grab it. I feel sleepy. Must get out of here. Bad feeling. God damn it, I hate these time sections so much.
At least he didn't have encounters that time. Whew, that was close. <sighs> gave me a bit more time than some of the Smile Maker's timed sections. I don't think I've gotten a single candy drop yet, have I? Um... Use Wonder Dust on the torch to the left. Huh? What torch? Torch to the west. What the hell is this thing? Dual flash, please stun. Ripping off my best move, huh? Ugh. Boulder rain. We have no choice but to get serious and use two AoE types. Even if it does mean making my experience unbalanced. Shot. Triple slash. Damn, this thing has a lot of health. And I finally got some candy. God, but I don't want my experience to end up bad again. What torch are they talking about? To the west? Are they talking about here? Well... Seriously, what, what's with these directions? What, which west? What torch are they talking about? These, no, very few of these structures act would remotely resemble a torch. Seriously. Go up for now and hope for the. Oh, there is a torch right here. Ah, <sighs> good. Yes. Okay, now it's go to the left and touch the flower. Activate it. Should I touch this flower too? Touch the northern flower. that do anything? I think I screw up the order. See if I can redo that. Uh, 
Is there any way to reset this? At all? Let's see if going outside will reset. No, it will not. I'm stuck now. I'm really, really stuck. I fucked up the puzzle for myself. There's no reset button on this at all, is there? Nope. Okay, this time I skip this and then talk to this one. Now go back to the left. Okay, now I can get to the basket in the center. Pick it up. I'm pretty sure eating it will probably get cause a game over or something. Put them on the table? Which table? You have to be more specific there. Table. This table here? Does this do anything? Okay, good. That's the sparkling candy that I needed. Okay. Now by the wonder... By the key. The wonder house key. Anything else worth buying here? I have a few candies. Yeah, nothing. Better keep going. Okay, the key does not work on these minor, unimportant houses. Just this big, important-looking look house. Okay. This could get tricky. Mm. Okay, this should be a fairly... I wouldn't want to say balanced. Seriously, those, why are all my slowest members so underleveled? That makes no sense, how things turn out like that. Why would they join so late in the game? This place is the best ever. I can have so much fun each day. Come on, Susie, snap out of it. Let's go home. Your mommy is worried sick about you. No way, I'm staying here forever and ever and ever. I feel that... bliss. Seriously? Don't you care about how your mommy feels right now? Serena, it's pointless. She doesn't appear to be normal at all. Besides, even we manage to convince her, we don't know how to get out of this place. We need to first figure a way out. I guess you're right. Yeah. Uh. Well, this person looks important. Hello, my lovely friends. I see you're having a wonderful time here in my little, wo wonderful little world. Um, who the hell are you? Oh my, how rude of me! My name is Rin, better known as the Painter of Dreams. It's lovely to make your acquaintance. Hmm, you're quick to admit this is nothing but a dream. I thought you tried and fool us into believing this was real. Oh, does this assume we fought the smell maker before? Okay, old sweet friends, define real. Do you not feel the ground beneath your feet? Do you not feel the bliss of this world's air? Do you not feel my voice reach your ears? If you do, then, then it is, an, is it in any way inferior to reality? You can live in your dreams in happiness, in peace, and forever in bliss. Look, this place is sweet and all, but it's just a tad too quirky for me. Besides, my job is to take little Susie back to her mother, and that's just what I came here to do. I'm afraid I can't let you do that. You see, little Susie is my new best friend. We're going to have lots of fun together in our wonderful little world. 
I have no problem waking you up from the stream, but I'm not saying Susie back to her villainous, hateful, pathetic, excusable mother. Huh? What makes you think so bad of her mother in the first place? You know, observation isn't, isn't your strong suit, is it? Closette Pardoline cares about uh, her legacy alone. Think she cares about having a child at all? She only adopted Susie to save face. Never knowing a mother's love, she lived her whole life tainted by sorrow and depression. It wasn't just her curiosity. She seeked salvation when she opened the scroll. It's not too late to make, for you to make the right choice. Say farewell to your unfair reality and join us in painting a beautiful dream. Please. Damn, there's no way of knowing if she's telling the truth. You're going to have to use my judgment on this. Keel. I heard, I've heard just about enough of your bullshit. You ain't going to give her back. I'll just have to take her by force. Okay, well, I was afraid you were going to say that. Guess I'll have to educate you on how to behave with a lady. You're making a big mistake, boy. I could have made you so happy if you had just accepted my embrace. Too bad for you. I'd rather kick your blissful arse and make myself happy with the reward money. In the real world. Crap. Ariel's been confused. Stunning combo. This really sucks. Seriously, seriously sucks. Let's see if... Can my Medi Potion take care of this? Not really. Okay. What my fairy items? Let's try a fairy blessing on Rurona. It worked! Oh, come on! This is getting freaking ridiculous. I don't know if I actually have a way to deal with this stuff. Other than hasting and hoping everyone gets a, enough turns to get around this. Looks like I can still use stunning combo here. Good, keep her busy. Attack boost. Need okay, stunning combo again. Oh, how can you miss? Oh, that one hurt. Gah! This is bad. See if I can. S God damn, he's already stunned or some, or enraged or something. <sighs> okay. Looks like I just need to snap Rona out of this. And she should be able to... I'm blinded as well. Maybe, maybe I should try blinding or silencing her first. Oh good, normal attack. So I guess I can use the Fist of Destruction now. Might as well use it before I get confused again or something. Prepare to experience the ultimate bliss! Ow! This only works if people are dead and they are not. All heal. Dual smite. Please stun. Yes! I don't have anything. Take this golden swing! No! Need to stun... Face breaker. Let's hope this doesn't crash or I'll have to redo the battle. 
This is a... No, should I risk it? Well, they didn't mention anything about it in the forum, so maybe I should try it. Okay, I think it... I think this... This combo is legit. Well, what? Ah! No! Susie, the stream cannot end like this! We're back! About time, all that bliss was making me suffocated. We must check if Susie is back to normal. The celebrations can wait. Uh, good thing I had uh, I had Calamondi's tunic on Elric. Or he'd be punching everyone to death with his sp high speed and attack. Yeah, Calamondi tunic is pretty much a requirement here. Have it on either Elric or Kenrad, depending on who you're gonna bring to the battle. Mommy, mommy, I just had the longest and strangest dream ever. I was in a world full of candies and toys and everything nice. I even made a sweet friend there. But I still like this world more. A world without you is no good, mommy. Susie, I'm so happy you're back. I'm never letting anything bad happen to you again, sweetie. No more scrolls, no more dangerous things around the house. I promise to keep you safe no matter what. Ken, if you were worried about where you made the right choice, I'd say worry no more. The answer couldn't get any clearer. Yeah, I guess Rin was just BSing us. Hunter, I didn't see you come in. How'd it go? I guess you can see a result for yourself. As for the details, well, let's just say I'll try to stay away from dreaming for a while now. You brought back my Susie, and that's all that truly matters. Well done. Mommy, who is this scary looking man? He didn't come to hurt us, did he? Why, you little... Susie, this charming young man is a hero. Take a good look. There aren't too many of them left in our world. Huh? I thought heroes looked more dashing and handsome and whatever. Wait a minute, but was it, If she called me a hero, then... Does this affect what the... Uh, the dialogue when I deal with that succubus true demon who also called me a hero? <laughs> that... Uh, huh. Hello, Mr. Hero. That makes you the third person... The third living being to acknowledge me as a... Hero? I, I lost count. Now that's more like it. I can never truly repay you for what you've done. You may visit us whenever you wish to. Surely Susie would love to see you again. Um, I really don't care, but sure, why not? Huh. Now I think about it, I think I heard your voices in the dream too. Now you must be overthinking things. Hmm. I guess you're right. Only the handsome heroes deserve a spot in my dreams. Well, brat. Now that's what you call a critical hit. Thank you again for everything. May the gods be with you on your journeys, Hunter. There are very subtle clues that this dream world was not very good, especially with that whole timed maze thing. That was. That was kind of proof that uh, the th whoever uh, that Rin only cared about dragging more people into the dream than actually helping them. We'll make sure I talk to it again. We played enough of that, uh, we, we played with enough rolled up paper for the day. Yeah, we should just use that scroll as toilet paper now. Okay, time to report this quest. Okay, let's just report this one in. Susie in Wonderland. Nap time is over for the kiddo. It's reward time for the hero. That was one of the worst rhymes I've ever heard. So what happened to the scroll? We're not too sure. However, we defeated the mastermind behind the scroll's spell, thus releasing Susie from it. Splendid. It must have been rather tricky, but it seems you've handled it well. Anyway, here's our payment as agreed upon. Elric leveled up, double axe kick learned. 
Idiot's level 35, Dragon Slayer. Lethal learned. Lethal must be a new trait. Higher crit rate. I don't want to get rid of aggravating because it's pretty much the only thing saving the mages. TP gain plus. Is it worth it? I don't know. I heard that Adius is no, he has not learned his uh, game uh, his crash uh, game crashing combo yet. Dragon Slayer. If I ever find a dragon, then this could come in handy. The heck is double axe kick? Eighteen. Stun low, mind break medium. Powerful kick that hits an enemy twice. A little strong force in this direction. Yeah, this is the boss that killed me before, but who knows, maybe now I'm ready for it. Hopefully. It's a powerful dragon. I have a dragon slayer skill, so maybe that'll help. Strong Force is right next to me and about to kill me. Should be something huge coming up from underwater. Get ready! As usual, spam stunning combo. Haste. Normal attack. Please stun again. Normal attack. Attack boost on Adius. Yes! Managed to strike it again. See, I can just use Destructive Array. I forgot I had that. Ugh. Kept this thing stun locked for a while now. Duh, miss. She used Arcane Array to keep everyone safe. Stunning combo, please. I have no run that's gonna take forever to charge up. Dragon Slayer. Eh, that was underwhelming, but it's better than nothing. No, not yet. Uh, I ran out of MP. I'm gonna have to take the next hit. Fire Breath! Oh, what? Well, yeah, I'm, I'm really over leveled for this. Okay, Destructive Array. We're off an Elric already because of his speed. Dual smite. Stun, please. Stun. Let's see, who needs the levels more? Probably Ivy. 
Speed Breaker. Thunder Slash. Oh, Crystal Cutter, that's old news. That's it. Okay, I guess there's still one more like uh, uh, one more mini boss I want to take a look at in the London Caves. Be right back. Okay, the playful war spirit should be here. A seemingly unaggressive war spirit seems to be protecting something. Is this supposed to be a boss or not? I don't know. No, it's not. It's just a, a stronger than usual enemy. Meant to be defeated with perfect accuracy attacks. Don't know what Water Spirit was doing in a place like this, but it sure packed a punch. Now I can take this crystal. Why have I not seen this quest yet? Feast miscalculation. A thief from the foreign lands named Anfara accidentally stole from a powerful undead sorcerer. Since that sorcerer has decided to hunt her down, she needs someone who can protect her from him and lead her to safety. An escort mission? Well, we normally put thieves behind bars, this situation is different. Interested in the contract? Yeah. Wow, I know stealing from the undead is technically legal, but I never thought I'd see an army official issue uh, an army officially issue out a contract by a thief. Thief or not, I'll protect her if she's cute. And Faro was last spotted in the local inn. Is hey, is this even mentioned in the guide? I don't see Anfara's name in the guide at all. I'm guessing this shows up. Uh, this shows up. It showed up when you least expected it. Go and talk to her directly. Good luck. Oh boy. I better save in a separate slot because it's possible for me to. It's possible that I might accidentally get the client killed if I'm not careful and turn out to be a difficult escort mission. Seriously, what is with these quests? Why was this not even mentioned at all? Is it the girl with the eye patch? Maybe this one will disappear if I don't get to it in time. Since she, she does have uh, have someone after her, it's possible that if I go into the Shadwick Pass, someone will off her. Keep laugh at me for my misfortune, eh? If you dare mock me, I'll I'll. You'll do what? I'll... Cry! Waha, cute and hilarious. If only my tears would make a certain zombie stop chasing me, I wouldn't be so screwed right now. Ah, oh, so you're a failure of a thief who steals from undead lords. What if I told you I came to protect you from that zombie, assuming he's an undead rune guy? Yes, he is. Are you the ones who took up my contract? Yep, Kenrad's comrades to the rescue. I still don't like that name. Well, I'm so glad I got a strong band of criminals helping me. Hey, who the hell are you calling a criminal? I'm a hero. Hero, hero. H-E-R-O. Ew, heroes suck, and here I thought you were kinda hot. I need to raise my standards. Sure, you ain't so hot yourself, you smell. Ahem, we not need to find each other attractive to work together on the contract. So, I guess you're right. Anyway, I kind of borrowed this fancy looking book filled with evil looking stuff written in pretentious looking gibberish. Don't tell me it was that necromancer from before. When I found it belonged to an undead rune master, Tiramir. Um, who the hell is Tiramir? I don't see his name anywhere in a guide. So it's already way too late. He's been haunting my trail ever since. I see. Do you want us to get rid of this enemy? Now that'd be asking too much of you. Just get me to the safest city in the continent. Moralia. Not even an undead god would attack me in that city. Sounds simple enough, but I have one question. Why don't you use a warp crystal or something similar? No way, Jose. That not only give away my position, it'll also let him mess with my physical energy. My body will be disintegrated if he gets to do that. Do you mean to say disintegrated? Yeah, that. So are we ready to go? We gotta travel on foot, so no warp crystals for us. Alright, my criminal face heroes, let's do this. Yep, separate slot time, because this 
whoever this guy is will not- he's not gonna let us use any kind of teleportation. I'm not- I'm not- oh, if he's an undead, I should probably switch Rona into the party and- Let's see, got any- well, use Bow of Light. I'm gonna keep Ivy for the first turn just so she can inflict slow on the enemy. Seriously, no warp crystals. Hold on, can I have her teleport? Nope, not even the basic teleport spell will save me here. This is getting kind of ominous. He's probably going to show up as a random encounter or something. Oh shoot, there's a bridge! He's gonna cut me off of the bridge, isn't he? So I'm gonna make sure he doesn't find me. Like, seriously. Shit, he found us! He's found us! The lands tremble, the seas cry! The mountains crumble, the winds howl! Damn, you really suck at rhyming. Fury shall not be forgiven, they shall all suffer the same fate. The wretched humans shall perish. The dark mana seems insanely strong. Guess we've got no other choice but to fight. Capture the thief, I will take care of these insects. Yes, master. You guys aren't going nowhere, not until you get past me first. So be it, I shall eradicate your souls before you even realize it. Speed break! Ugh, this is bad. Need to use some kind of all hitting spell. Yes! No! Holy shit, this guy's kinda strong. Let's see if you can I can stun him. This is supposed to be a level 24 quest? Are they serious? Peace. Hunter's Call. Mega Flame. Please keep the stun train going. Destructive Array. What can I use against you? I'm not ready for Predator Fury yet. Paint Shot. Did my stuff get unequipped? I have no idea. Mega Flame. One hit kill! Damn, Phoenix Revive. Elemental Dance. Mind boost. Stun, please. Uh oh.
Seriously, I must have actually gotten unequipped. Fools, the wench has escaped through the city walls. Humans, one day I shall make you suffer a thousand deaths for this. He, he, he ran away? God, the coward escaped. Well, so did Aunt Farah. I guess that concludes our job. She could have at least said thanks. Oh well, it's reward time. God, that was an anticlimactic victory. But well, I'm sure I had to do that before Shevrek passed, considering how suddenly it showed up out of nowhere like that. That thing was no joke. But where could she be now? And someone tells me this quest this quest is going to go on for a while. I should probably maybe I should check the other uh, 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 other quest givers just in case. Uh, which should probably be in the cheapest inn. Let's check that one first. Gah. I don't. I don't think I see her. What happened? Hmm. Okay, thief's miscalculation. Let's report this in then. There were a few bumps on the road, but the job's done. She should be safe from this, that sorcerer for now. Well done. Debilitating strike learned. There's no more contracts now. Strange, it showed contracts there for a moment, but I guess that was a glitch. The heck was that all about? Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe.